We are all now so hyper-focused to COVID-19, but there are real-life emergencies happening all around us. So when is it time to seek emergency help? Well, to answer that is Dr. Adam Balls, the chairman of the emergency department at Intermountain Medical Center with Intermountain Healthcare. Dr. Balls, thank you so much for joining us today. Great, Sarah. It's great to be here, and thanks for having me on. So, Dr. Balls, describe what are the cases to seek emergency care, and should people uh, second-guess that when it comes to their symptoms? Uh, absolutely not. We want people to understand that accessing emergency or urgent care during COVID-19 and this pandemic is no different than prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. We have taken the appropriate precautions and safety measures at each of our hospitals, clinics, and urgent cares to make sure that the community members and our public are safe when they need to access our resources and our care. Our emergency departments and Instacares are ready and uh, have the appropriate personnel, resources, and supplies. And if people have life-threatening emergencies, such as heart attacks, chest pain, stroke, difficulty breathing, traumatic injuries, um, they should still be seeking care in the same way that they were before COVID-19 began. And then some patients may wonder and say, well, would I get the same kind of quality care that I'm used to um, during this pandemic if I were to go to the emergency room? Yes, the same expert care and personnel are available uh, working in each of our emergency departments and our hospitals throughout the Intermountain Healthcare system. So you will get the exact same care. Our volumes in our emergency departments are down about 30% as people social distance and perhaps are afraid to seek care in our emergency departments. But the, the care that you will receive, uh, you can be confident is the same type of care that you would otherwise receive when we weren't dealing with COVID-19. So important to know. We also need to know what may be some of the rules that have changed when it comes to going into the hospital, whether you're a patient or a visitor. Yes, there are additional visitor restrictions uh, now. So uh, when you come to the hospital uh, with uh, someone who a family member or friend that may be a patient, uh, those visitor restrictions will be explained to you. Uh, and our, on our obstetric service, uh, people are allowed one visitor. Uh, end of life patients that are um, dying and having a severe illness, uh, they are allowed two visitors. Uh, in our emergency department, uh, we do not allow visitors for anyone over the age of 18. Um, or if there's uh, individuals that have special needs and need a caregiver with them, we will allow visitors. Uh, we're doing a lot of updating of family members uh, and getting information over the telephone. Um, and our patients are quite understanding of that. And I believe most of our family members and visitors as well understand the differences on our visitor policy based on the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Balls, so important from Intermountain Healthcare. The rules may have changed somewhat, but the quality of care has not. Thanks again for joining us. We'll have all that information, including those different rules, on our website um, at abc4.com. And your website is intermountainhealthcare.org. Thanks again for joining us.